The Force is with Daisy Ridley. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to stay up to date with our, of our latest videos. This is a charcuterie board of video content. Let's get to it. Star Wars, the greatest franchise of all time, is going to be hitting us fast and furious. What? With some more Star Wars movies. Three of them were announced our last month on Star Wars Celebration. Yada, yada, yada. But the one that seems to have the most intrigue, the one that everybody wants to either love too much or hate too much or where is Ben Solo too much is the Rey Skywalker. Kathleen Kennedy speaking with Empire Magazine on the upcoming Empire Magazine with Samuel L. Jackson on the cover. Said the following about the Daisy Ridley Rey Skywalker Star Wars movie. What we're exploring is the evolution of the Jedi. We're moving 15 years after the rise of Skywalker. The First Order has fallen. The Jedi are in chaos. There's even a question of how many exist anymore. And Rey's building the new Jedi Order based on the text that she was given and that Luke imparted on her. This is a very intriguing quote. She says, they don't know how many Jedi exist right now, and the Jedi are in chaos. There's a lot to unravel and to unpack in that quote. Does this mean Jason Sindula is out there? Is Ezra Bridger out there? Is Ahsoka Tano out there? Are there other Jedi we have not met yet? Obviously, Grogu Grogu's not a Jedi, he's a Mandalorian. But are there other Jedi we have not met that are still around in the galaxy? And now you're, are you retconning, you know, the last you will be to mean the last Skywalker or the last one in the Skywalker saga of it all. We moved past the Skywalker saga, now we're on to something completely different. I love the idea that the Jedi are in chaos and Rey is trying to rebuild them because she probably wants to bring the galaxy, unite the galaxy, make them what they were based on the sacred text, which of course could just lead us right back to where we were. Hopefully not, we don't need a ret retread of the, the prequels necessarily, a lot more talking. But it, the cool concept and something to keep your eye on is what Jedi are coming and how are they in chaos? Are they not seeing eye to eye with the doctor of the Jedi Order? Does Rey have these texts and she believes one thing, but other Jedi around the galaxy believe in something else? Is that what's gonna cause some chaos? Is the internal conflict of this film going to be Jedi on Jedi? Are we gonna see Jedi disagreeing with each other so much and maybe this will lead to some of the new Jedi turning to dark Jedi. I'm going to stay away from Sith for the time being, but dark Jedi is a possibility. Are we going to go in that direction? Are we going to see more dark Jedi following up in the Rey Skywalker movie? It's not Rey centric. It's 15 years later. They're saying Rey's a side character, but now she might be a main player. Finn might show up. He might also be a Jedi. We might have met other characters in the sequel trilogy that have for sensitivity that could be Jedi as well. I can't wait. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And until next time, may the force be with you.